So starting on Unit 2, we're going to be looking at percentages. And just to remind you real quick at the start, kind of what a percentage means, percentage really kind of means out of 100. So for instance, if you had 35%, that means that you would have gotten 35 out of 100 correct. Or you could write that as a th fraction, 35 over 100. So that's 35 hundredths, and we know that that can then be written as a decimal, 0 0.35. So basically what we're going to do is convert from percentage to decimal, and I want you all to be able to do this in your head. Um, if you get stuck and you kind of doubt yourself, like you give you, they give you a tricky percentage and you kind of doubt yourself, don't be afraid to check it with a calculator, but you should get confident about doing it in your head. And the thing to remember is that effectively you're dividing by 100, and when we divide a decimal by a factor of 10, like 10, 100,000, effectively what you can do is just move the decimal point from place to place. So dividing by 100 is the same thing as moving the decimal place two spots to the left. So if you imagine the decimal is at the end of the number, we would assume it's there because it hasn't been given to us, so we'd assume it's at the end. And we move it two spots to the left, so 37%. Move the decimal over there, becomes 0 0.37. 15%, from there, move it over two spots, 0 0.15. 8%, decimal at the end, we move it over one spot and two spots, but there we see there's an empty thing, there was no number there. So any empty spots you've got to fill in with zeros, so this decimal becomes 0 0.08. Same thing for two, imagine the decimal at the end and move it over two spots, fill in any blanks with a zero, so that becomes 0 0.02. And here, big tricky number, same process though, decimal at the end, and move it two spots. That becomes 1.24. Which seems a bit counterintuitive, but 124% is the whole thing, the 100% and 24% more. So that's where you get 1 for the whole, and then the additional 24 hundredths that come in there. Numbers like 5.5%, sometimes quoted to in polls and things like that. It's important first thing to do to think about how do I write half as a decimal to begin with. So half is really 0 0.5, so that number becomes 5.5. That's 5 and a half. Same thing here, 5 and a half, but written out with a decimal. And now that we've got that, you can think about moving the decimal point two spots over, filling any empty gaps with the zero. Put the zero in front, 0 0.055. Okay, so again, make sure you divide it by 100. And that's the same thing as moving the decimal two spots to the left. If it's a percentage that's bigger than 100, you'll end up with a, a hole. You'll have like a 1.24 or a 2.57. If it's a percentage that's less than 10, make sure you move it two spots over and you fill in the blank with a zero, so it'll be something like 0 0.08. And if it's between 10 and 99, you should just get 0 point, whatever the number is. So give a go with those. Um, I'm going to stop this video so it's short and sweet, and then uh, you can watch the next one on the other way around.